Hello and welcome back to yet another outwardly experience. Today we will learn to start how to start your C sharp Rage MP development environment. So let's begin. First and foremost thing that you need is obviously Rage MP server files. So we'll get those. Here's the link rage.mp. Just go over here. You see this red big button called download. Click on it. And now we wait. Um, now I'm just gonna reinstall it again, even though I have it. Save. Replace. Yes. Oh my god. Fucking hell. Okie dokie, so now we're done with downloading Rage Multiplayer server files. Now we're gonna install it. Click yes, and then uh, Rage Multiplayer is already installed. Click OK to remove. OK, I'll just reinstall it just to show you. Click next, I agree, and then choose the directory wherever you want to save the files. So I'll just do it in the directory E. Rage MP install. Now that we've finished installing the Rage Multiplayer setup, we will just click on Run Rage Multiplayer. Finish. Now we wait for it to download all the necessary files. It's going to download all the files, the client side files, as well as the server sided files. Just give it a moment. Okie dokie, we're almost done. We're almost done. Just gotta check if it's recording. Yeah, it's recording. Almost done. Just a little bit more. Come on, come on, come on. Why does it take so long? Fuck's sake. Anyway. Waiting, 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 waiting. Ta -da -da -ta 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 -ta. I think I'll just pause it again. Uh, it's just a little bit left now. Nah, fuck it, I won't pause it. Forget it. Three, two, one. Ah, shoot. I thought that when I'd say one, it happened, but oh, looks like life doesn't want to agree with me. Never mind. Okay, sometimes, well, no. Let me correct myself. Most of the times, when you try to install Rage Multiplayer, this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna just stop right over here. But apparently not. It did not, no problem. But if it does, all you have to do is just go to the task manager and task and then run updater.exe. I'll show it to you. Uh, first, let me close this one. And uh, E, Rage MP. Now, we're going to go ahead and assume that for some reason when you install Rage MP, it didn't completely install it. It got stuck somewhere. So what you'll do is you'll go to the task manager and you'll end that task. Once you end the task, come back to the root directory of your Rage MP folder. And you'll find a f executable file called updater.exe. Double click on it. Click yes. And then it will again try to check all the files, if all the files are present or not. It will install it, download it, whatever. And then it will run. And once it does run, you'll see that a couple of extra files were added. This is needed. So you have to run updater.exe at least once. Now, after you have installed your Raged MP, what you need to do now is install the bridge files. The thing is, in the new Rage MP updater, they already give you the bridge files. Uh, wait, hold on. You see this in plugins bridge file, but the problem is there are a couple of files missing over here. There should be a couple more files. For that, this is the site. 
the wiki.gtnet.org you know what i'll just link this in the description box and you'll just click on windows bridge package it'll ask uh, to where you want to install it i'll just install i already have it so i'll just reinstall it save it already exists yes let it finish it's almost done well i do have a crappy internet mm, any moment now there we go it's done click on it and then you'll see bridge plugin config well conf which is short form for config in bridge we have these extra files that we need so we'll just copy these files inside our server files so just select drag and put it in your server files if it asks you to replace anything just click on replace the files in the destination done now the bridge files are completely updated now what you need to do is you need to run server.exe so that you get the additional files that are still missing so i've run server.exe allow access and you can see we got a couple of extra folders which we needed we don't need this anymore so we'll close it now all of the server files are set up now we need a place an environment where we will actually code the things for our server side slash client side whatever for that we're going to use visual studio so this is the link i'll give this link in the description box don't worry about it and then just go through it it's gonna have the entire information about how to install Visual Studio. What you just have to do is click on download Visual Studio. It'll give you an installer and then just go through it once. Just go through the entire thing and you'll understand how to install it. I won't go about uh, I won't go about how to install it because it's completely briefly written over here. So okay, I guess you can figure it out. Once you do that you will have something like this visual studio installer click on that open it and then wait check in for updates it's going to check for updates it's up to date now what we need to do over here is we need to click on modify visual studio community 2017 modify wait for it wait for it getting the things ready now once that loads these are the things that you need to take net desktop development Tick on it. Nothing else, nothing else except the very last one, which is .NET Core Cross Platform Development. Select it and then modify install while downloading. Okay, install while downloading and modify. Since I already have it, I won't do it. Once you have got that set up, close it, close the installer, and then open Visual Studio. Oh, uh -huh. Studio 2017. And then we wait.